one of the Disney <laughs> Style editors, and we're here today for a very special episode of Hello Disney Style Live. And we have the incredible, beautiful, and talented Gabby Zapata, one of our Disney artists here at Disney Interactive. And we're going to be live drawing some Disney villains inspired handbags. So Gabby, for people that weren't here the last time we had you on the show, tell them a little bit about yourself. So hi, I'm Gabby. Um, I'm a visual development artist and I do a lot of the social media um, for Disney Style, Facebook, everything. So Yeah, yeah you, she creates beautiful graphics and beautiful <laughs> art for us. And so now we're going to have you guys get the power to choose which villain we're doing to inspire this handbag, this handbag sketch. So we have either Maleficent, Hades, Ursula. <laughs> so go ahead and let us know in the comments below who you want to see us sketch. And make sure you ring that bell to subscribe to all of our videos here and be the first to know when we're going live for Hello Disney Style Live. So as people are voting, go ahead and let us know Kind of. Are you uh, are you voting for Ursula? Yeah, I'm voting for Ursula. I mm -hmm. have a soft spot for the Little Mermaid. So why do you have a soft spot for the Little Mermaid? It's, I think it's what made me become who I am today. So. That's amazing. <laughs> and I also hear that it was one of those films that inspired yes. you to become an artist. Yes, very much. Um, I just love seeing um, Ariel swim all over the place, and it's just something that I wanted to create. And uh, yeah, I don't know. That's incredible. <laughs> I may or may not have a bias for Maleficent. My shirt is from the Disney Uniqlo collection and it has little Sleeping Beauties and crowns and Maleficent, so I have a little soft spot for her. I don't know. So make sure you guys keep voting down in the comments below. These are the options, Maleficent, Hades, and Ursula. So Gabby, tell us a little bit more about um, who you are and like what you do here at Disney Interactive. I don't know who I am, no, I'm just kidding. Um, so, Let's see. Um, I studied art school um, and I did computer animation. Um, from there, I found a passion in visual development, so like creating props, dresses, characters, it's just everything that comes with that. That's so, incredible. Yeah. I don't know if you guys were here for the last live stream we had with Gabby, right. but we did some beautiful Disney princess inspired dresses, mm -hmm. and the result was this gorgeous dress inspired by Ariel. She really came out so cute with those kind of <laughs> scallop shell-like look on her skirt and the little detail and the flower in her hair inspired by Ariel. So guys, um, are we get, I think we're getting some votes. We're really excited to find out who the winner is. And we're finding out now. And the winner no. is Maleficent, my favorite. <laughs> you win yes. this time. You win. Yes, I do. It's okay. Last so, time I, I won Ariel. So it's okay. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so, uh, Gabby, today it looks like we're drawing digitally yes. as opposed to on paper. Mm -hmm. So, kind of tell us about that decision. So, just to switch things up a little bit, um, just we're gonna do digital this time. And in case there's like a mess up or anything, I can always undo. You Girl, know, because... you are not gonna mess <laughs> up. You are so good. So, uh, yeah. So we can go ahead and like dim the lights a little bit, so we can see. I'm yeah. so excited. I cannot wait to see. Okay. So before I begin anything, I always like to pull up reference. Um, to see what we're gonna draw today. So, since we picked Maleficent, and I grabbed some images of her. She is so fierce. Yeah. I love her. And I love her color palette too. It's a lot of purples yeah, lot and greens. Purples. Okay, so. So we have a question on Facebook for you, and it was, how did you find your, your, your unique drawing style? I think, um, so a lot of the times we are required to draw in different styles. So I just kind of explore um, doing it in 2D, or um, sometimes, uh, you know, movies are in 3D, we have to kind of emulate a similar style. So I don't know, it just kind of changes from time to time, and then just kind of gain um, I don't know, you just kind of play with it. Yeah, sure. And okay. was it hard to learn how to draw on digital versus on paper? I first started drawing in digital when I was in my teens. Mm -hmm. And from there, I kind of liked it. I liked how um, you can have vibrant colors and just not make a mess. Because uh, when I paint, I have paints all over the place on my table. And I'm just so lazy to clean it up. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just digital. It's just fun and just a little bit faster too. That's exciting. Okay, so, so how are we getting started? Okay, 
So I pulled up all these images because it just it shows different forms of her. Like you know, she changed into a dragon, and she has all these cool flames around her. And um, her shape is very important, uh, very angular. A lot of villains have a very angular shape. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think it really so, yeah. contributes to kind of their personality you know? as being like sharp and fierce. Yeah. Okay, so with that in mind. Um, I'm going to make a shape that represents her. Great. So, I'll just go ahead and start. This is so incredible. It's like magically coming to life. <laughs> so for her, I envision her in a, a kind of angular um, handbag instead of a very boxy because she's very triangular. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to keep the shape that represents her. Love it. And I feel like I can already start to see maybe her horns playing maybe. into the shape of the bag. I can't yes. wait. That's one of my favorite aspects of her look. She has this like amazing high collared cape with this black and purple color palette. It's really incredible. Yeah. I cannot wait to see what this looks like. Yeah, so first we'll do a sketch. And then after I have that done of the idea that I want to do, I'll go in and um, pick some colors and then we'll move from there. Fantastic. So you can see the basic shape now. Um, yeah. Just like based on her, the shape of the horns and then just the angularness of everything else. Awesome. And so besides Ursula, do you have any other favorite Disney villains? Um, I kind of like Mother Gothel. She has like a awesome voice first of all she does she's incredible. um she, even though she keeps rapunzel in the tower <laughs> she still has like the very motherly aspect to her so. she does and that no. song mother knows best is exactly. one of my favorite disney songs so we have a question from Ooh. my tana and okay. they're asking who is your favorite sidekick favorite sidekick oh i don't know um hmm i kind of like flounder but then now yes. i also like pascal because he's just like changed different colors he's so cute yeah um i think i love flotsam and jetsam oh from, right yeah from the little mermaid they're really fierce i love how they kind of interplay with each other oh i see you getting that uh strap for the handbag yes a very thin strap bag um uh, what do you call it strap great so it's kind of almost like a little crossbody. yes i love that so here's a basic sketch you know it's very rough you don't want to go too detailed um, because it's not the final one. We just to get the idea. So, okay, and then I'm going to duplicate it, flip it. <gasps> wow, that's <laughs> magical. <laughs> no, um, just so that we can work on the, like, you know, the back side. Yeah. Back, and then we'll label this as the front. I cannot wait to see the finished product for this. This would be like the perfect purse to Disney Bound as Maleficent. If only we can make these. <laughs> oh, I know. Hey, next project. We'll maybe, make it happen. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so basic. And, perfect. And if you guys are just tuning in, we have Disney artist Gabby Zapata, and she is drawing a Maleficent-inspired handbag. And also, don't forget to ring that bell so that you subscribe to all of our videos, and you can be one of the first ones to find out when we're doing these amazing, exciting videos with Gabby. So now we're going to go ahead and... Um, do color swatches so that I know what kind of colors to use on the purse. That's amazing. And so it's almost kind of like you're doing like a digital um, color palette. Yeah. That's so great. So, you know, she has some purples or some pinks. Then she has some green tones on her skin. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a question and cool. it is how hard is it to draw digitally? Um, it's very easy because it kind of emulates drawing on paper. It has like all the textures and the flow of like a regular pen or pencil. So it's not too much different. It's just you won't make a mess. <laughs> yeah. So I have my color palette selected and I'm going to go ahead and just start doing some basic shapes. And then the reason why I do basic shapes is that because sometimes we have to do quick edits, and by doing shapes, it allows us to change um, colors very easily. Awesome. Krista wants to know what your favorite Disney movie is. Um, the Little Mermaid, and then second best, probably Tangled. Uh, 
that lantern scene though. Yes. I love that. Mine is my favorite Disney princess is Sleeping Beauty, as well as my uh. favorite villain being Maleficent. Um, but I also love Tangled. Yes. Do you have a favorite thing to draw, Gabby? Um, I like a lot of fashion, so sometimes I just like to explore different dress shapes and I can't sew, but I can draw a dress. <laughs> That's amazing. So I just go and do that instead. Wait, that was so cool. Can you tell me why <laughs> you drew kind of that giant oh, shape okay. and then it changed the color? Yes. So um, I drew a basic shape and then you can layer it on top, um, onto the smaller shape and then it'll flip onto it. That way the shape stays like the original one. So, see, wow. so it's green right now and you put a layer on top or you clip it and then it just stays there. That is so amazing. <laughs> I am not very great at drawing myself, so seeing you do this is so inspiring. It seriously is magic in front of my eyes. <laughs> um, so I really like these colors kind of that you've chosen for Maleficent. Um, if you guys were ever looking to do a Disney bound as Maleficent, this would be a great color palette to start with you know, those purples and blacks, and then bringing in a little bit of the green and like mint-ish of her skin and then the flames. It really is kind of the perfect place. It gives her that vibrant, fierce, kind of force of nature villain that she is in the movie. Yes. Turn this one purple to emulate what she has um, on her cloak. Amazing. So Gabby, I'm just gonna take a guess is Ariel your favorite Disney princess? Pretty much. I love it. And why do you love her so much? I just love how she's very adventurous, uh, just goes all over the place and explores. Mm -hmm. and she really she doesn't let anything, she wants. Yeah, she doesn't let anything stand in her way. Yeah. I love Sleeping Beauty because she is such a dreamer. Nothing is too big for her. And, um, and I she really, gets to sleep. <laughs> and she gets to sleep, which we all definitely love. Yes. Um, but she is just um, such that big dreamer. She really inspires me to go after what I want. Um, so do you have any advice for aspiring artists, maybe how they can get started? Um, I'm used to drawing a lot, um, mostly every day. And I think practicing and doing that a lot helps. Mm -hmm. Where is yeah. a good place for um, new artists to get inspiration from? Um, I like to, maybe uh, if you find current exhibitions around your area, like mm -hmm. um, gallery shows, even concerts, just anything that's not necessarily art related, but it could get you inspired by just going places like that. I love that. And we see you, Grace, watching along. Thanks for uh, following as we draw these Disney villains-inspired purses. If you're just tuning in, we have Gabby, one of our artists here at Disney Interactive. She is so incredibly talented. So I think some folks are asking, you know, what our favorite villains colors, Aurelia, oh, Amelia. Hey, girl. Hi. Um, so I really love Ursula's color palette, actually. I think yeah. she has a really lovely you know purple tones and then she has that pop of red for yes. her lips and I love a girl who can rock a bold lip mm -hmm. do you have any favorite vil villains color palettes um let's see well I guess right now um you can see like Maleficent oops um Maleficent has just like vibrant greens some like uh purples and then like a pop of red that brings it back to her lip color mm -hmm. so it like it balances out yeah, and I love how a lot of times Disney princesses have these beautiful, sweet, pastel colors. Um, it really kind of plays into how kind and genuine they are as characters, but then villains come in and they have these bold, bright, yeah. kind of punchy mm -hmm. color palettes, and it really fits in as a foil or a contrast to their um, princess counterparts. And so um, I really love seeing that here in Maleficent. Oh my gosh, where there did it, it go? Turn <laughs> off the layer. That is so cool. But yeah, as you can see, like I try to incorporate, um, not too literal, um, make the shape of the strap be kind of like her flames, and you know, using the colors that she uses, so like to emulate, like you know, she's kind of on fire still. I so. love that. So if you could have any villain 
Jen's powers, what would you have, Gabby? Hmm. Maybe being able to have different voices, kind of like mm -hmm. Ursula, but without stealing anyone's <laughs> voice. Yeah, kind of like um, voice, like character artists. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that would be really fun. I don't know, I kind of love uh, Mother Gothel's ability to stay young, even though she's kind of yep. stealing that from <laughs> Rapunzel. Just everyone's stealing. <laughs> I don't know, but probably turning into a dragon. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah, that's right. That would be Turns pretty a dragon. Sick. Or just turning into anything. Yeah. Is that shape-shifting? Yeah. Shape-shifting. Yep. Perfect. That's it. Um, so, do you have a favorite Disney park, Gabby? Park? Ooh. That's a new one. Um, let's see. Um, I kind of like the classic mm -hmm. uh, Disneyland. Yeah. Just because it's just a font, the very first memory of going to Disneyland. Yeah. And it's the original. Exactly. You knew Walt the was there. He walked around. It was his you know, baby, and so it is pretty magical. Um, I actually just got back from a trip to Walt Disney World, Ooh. and so that was really exciting to explore. Been there in a while. It's, it's amazing, and it's so much bigger than Disneyland here. Um, what was your favorite ride? Um, Expedition Everest, yes, definitely. I love it. That's a good one. Ooh, I see you adding those lines there. Yes. Oh, it's coming together so nicely. I'm gonna add like a little zipper. Just to emulate the shape that she has in her staff. Yeah. Yeah, that's incredible. I love your attention to detail. Always. Always, always little details. It's so beautiful. Um, so if you're just joining us, we have Gabby, one of our Disney interactive artists here, and she is drawing a handbag inspired by Maleficent. And so if you guys have anything else that you would love to see Gabby draw for us in the future, let us know in the comments. And also don't forget to ring that bell so you're subscribed and you can be the first to be notified when we go live on YouTube. Just gonna add some little textures. Love that. So if you could have any Disney villain accessory, Gabby, what would it be? What? Um, hmm. I don't know. What would you have? <laughs> um, well, I love Ursula's shell necklace. Oh, right. Minus Ariel's voice, of course. Mm -hmm. um, that's definitely one of my favorites. Also, let's see. Maleficent's staff is pretty legit. Mm -hmm. I love that, too. What about... Hmm, I'm trying to think of a villain. Let's see. Jafar also has a really cool serpent staff. Oh, right. That's and... pretty cool. Well, I guess this is not a villain, but the the genie lamp, Ooh. but which Jafar takes and then yeah. use it to turn the snake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what are you doing here? I'm just making some adjustments on the shape. Um, so it's like a shape like a box, but also with the shape of her horns. Um, yeah. So something similar. Yeah, you can really get that depth. I love that. Is this strap, um, do you imagine it as kind of a gradient or are you seeing it yeah. as it flips to the side? I'm seeing this one more as a gradient. Okay. Um, just like you can kind of see how the flames come up here. Uh, it could be on both sides or. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. And this one. Actually, we'll go ahead and grab everything we just did. And we're going to do the magic. Yeah. Do the magic, do the magic, <laughs> yes! Look at that, oh my gosh, I love it. So we did that just so that, just a faster way to work um, by just duplicating the shape. That's amazing. Okay, I see you filling that in. Are you gonna keep the lines on the back just all the way yeah, down? Yeah, so it wraps around, like if you notice her shape, they all go around and they wrap around, um, even down to her neck. Mm -hmm. And same with her cloak. Yeah. So we're going to emulate something similar. The art style of Sleeping Beauty is so gorgeous. Yeah, it's it's so pretty. And um, the style that is very unique to that movie. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like Ashley wants this bag so bad. <laughs> and girlfriend, I totally agree. I wish that I could walk out with it. It would match my shirt. Let's just pull it out of the like, screen. And yes. Just <laughs> I mean, we work for Disney. We can make that happen, yeah. right? Yeah. Disney magic. This is so incredible. 
Is it hard to get the line straight when you're drawing on the computer? Yeah, a little bit, but then even if it's not as straight, it still has that charm of mm -hmm. the hand drawn, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have to use a stylus when you draw on the computer? Yes. Otherwise, my hand, I wish my hand could do it um, without a stylus, but <laughs> it needs it. That makes it really convenient, though, that you can rest your palm or mm -hmm. wrist against it and it doesn't like draw. Yeah, because since I'm left-handed, um, I rest my hand a lot. Yeah. Um, but maybe left, uh, right? Do you put your hand like on when you write? Mm -hmm. you put, yeah. But it doesn't smear. Like I know that I've yes. heard left-handed uh, <laughs> yes. writers smear the ink as they write. Yep. I smudge so much. So I'm happy that I'm, uh, I can't smudge anything on here. Yeah. Do you um, find that drawing is any different for um, left-handed people? Do you have to kind of think of, you know, techniques a little bit differently? Um, sometimes. Uh, if I, I've been practicing how to do lettering lately, mm -hmm. and um, that requires um, like shifting your paper a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, it's just not the same as if I were to use my right hand. Right, right. Definitely. So we're just almost getting there, and then maybe we can work on the inside lighting. Yeah. Of course. Hey, guys. Um, you guys should start telling us in the comments if you have any ideas of what the lining of the inside of the purse should look like. So go ahead and uh, leave those comments below. Maybe it can be like thorns. Thorns right? or flames. Or flames or like roses with thorns. Yes. Or what else? We have a yeah. left-handed problem really? from <laughs> Vanessa. I think yes. she feels you, girl. Yes. Um, I don't know. What else would you put in the inside lining? Um, maybe kind of like a pattern, like the floor that she's standing on in the ballroom. Oh, I feel yeah, like that's like that. kind of fun too. Yeah, it's very like square and also still keeps her shapes. Um, what else? We're definitely getting some votes for green flames. Okay. Which we love. Green flames. So how are you going to kind of, are you going to sketch out in your yeah. purse? Yeah, I'm going to sketch out just like a little bit kind of what we did initially. Also getting votes for roses in the roses, flames. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, do you have anything just in general that inspires you, Gabby, when you draw? Probably life. Yeah, <laughs> life. There's just a lot of things to look at, and sometimes it, that just ugh, that just helps create something. I yeah, know. I love that. I love finding inspiration kind of from everyday life. Ooh, we also have dragon scales. Dragon Krista. scale, that's, that's a good fun. one. Yeah, maybe, maybe even like, you know how it has like the front of oh, the dragon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm loving Let's all see. of these options. Are you vibing with any of them? I don't know, maybe, maybe the scales or the roses mm -hmm. or the flames. People were mentioning the flames a lot. We also have a suggestion for her sidekick, the crow. Mm -hmm. That might be a little hard to do in small, small yeah. patterns though, <laughs> but that would be pretty incredible. Oh, I know, maybe like a little charm. It could be a charm, charm. Yes. yes, a little bag yes. charm. I love that, that just like so the uh, okay, coach collection. That. They yes. have like a little little Mickey bag charm. So that's, that. that's, that's incredible. That's an awesome idea. That was such a great idea. So pretend this is open. And if you guys are just tuning in, we have Gabby, one of our artists here at Disney Interactive, and she drew a Maleficent-inspired handbag, and now we are finding out what the inside lining would look like, and everybody was letting us know, giving us some suggestions. We're going to add a little charm for Maleficent's sidekick. It's going to be real cute. She's almost there. Getting the right shape. Goodness. <laughs> yeah. It's hard seeing it from above. Yeah. You have to fake it a little bit. Mm -hmm. just pretend. So, yeah. inside lining. We'll make a little pattern. Did we decide what we're going to do? I don't know. What do you feel? And you're the artist. I don't know. You tell I me. 
me. Think maybe maybe some flames. I think flames would be really nice. Okay. And then maybe if you can throw some like rose details into okay. the flames if that's possible. That'd be so much though. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm asking for so much, but I just feel like it's gonna be amazing. Okay. We'll I, see. I know you. Well, can we can do have it, an girl. option. We can have an option. Just have two of them. Two yeah. Different options. Okay. So we'll start with the flames. Cool. Uh, I love opening a purse or a jacket and seeing the lining and have it like have a little pop of something extra. That's one of my favorite details when it comes to fashion accessories. Okay. So right now I'm just replicating the shape of the flame. So then we'll leave like a little room for like in case what if there's a little inside pocket. Ooh, so. yes. we were to do this in real life we'd be more specific with like you know the size and all yeah. that fun stuff I love that you can do um, when you're drawing digitally you almost have more freedom because yeah. you can try different things you can play with different patterns and go different back colors. erase it mm -hmm. yeah like what if I don't like this one I could just turn this off and just change the color to a hot pink um, so just like that yeah but. that's so amazing but I do love the flames they're kind of perfect <laughs> Gotta have a good pocket inside. So, do you have a Disney character fashion icon? Mm, fashion icon. Um, let's see. I was actually just thinking today. It's the 101 huh? Dalmatians anniversary, Ooh. and I love Anita. Anita, Anita. Style. Yes. Yeah, she's perfect. Yes. She's so, so classic, cute. so modern, and she wears that little hat with the yes. flower on it. It's just, it's amazing. She's really cute. Also, Elsa, her transformation. Oh, her dress. yes, that transformation mm -hmm. is so incredible. Imagine doing that in real life. I, I live for it. <laughs> I really do. Um, if you guys haven't been to Disney California Adventure and seen yes. the show on stage, Frozen Live at the Hyperion, so great. it is incredible. Um, and she actually transformed. And Elsa's transformation is probably my favorite part of that show. So. Go there, watch that, it's it'll blow your mind. So I'm really loving putting these finishing touches on the purse. Mm -hmm. It's coming together so nicely. Just gonna fake that it's a little open. Yep, so, you know. Yep, I love it. Pretend. Yep. Yep, yep. You do yep. that so well, no. so quickly. So quick, but you get the idea. Yeah. So like we can do Planes or a little inside pocket. Oh wait, we gotta do a little curl. Yeah. Well, let's see. Just a cute little quick charm. Mm -hmm. So on the right we have the front. In yep. the middle we have the inside lining, and then on the left we have the back side of the purse. I'm gonna add a little charm and draw the little sidekick. We're still gonna color pick. Love it. I'm basically ready to go out, buy a black cape, <laughs> Let's go. Um, go grab this purse, and go to Disneyland. I mean, literally the best idea ever. Uh, we're getting some love for your oh, yay. art, and people think that you should design an entire line of handbags. <laughs> um, so I am all dream. for that. It would literally be the dream. Cute! Oh my gosh, stop! You're Mama. so fantastic! Mama. A little beak. Oh my gosh. And a little beak. Just imagine having like a little like... It has like little beads on it. Kind of like the light that follows Aurora. <gasps> and it goes into yes, the room. Yes, that mm -hmm. leads her to the spinning wheel. Mm -hmm. I, girl, I love See, it. See, I got it. No. That's fantastic. That was a great idea. So, thanks yeah. to you guys for coming up with that. So Amazing! We're almost there. Yep. So, let's get okay. a closer look. Do you want to yes. make them a little bit bigger? Okay, let's see. So, I'm going to turn off all of these and just zoom in a little bit. Turn off that sketch. And there you go. Wow. So, we have the, the front, front, the back, the back, the inside.
side lining. The lining. And, and the little, little charm. charm. That was a good okay. idea. That was literally yes. such a good idea. That was that? fantastic. Gabby, you are so incredibly talented. Thank you so much for coming on oh, today's for episode having me. of Disney Style Live. All right, everybody. So I, we hope that you really enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments if there's anything else that you want to see Gabby draw in the future for another episode of Hello Disney Style Live. And thank you so much no, for being you. here. And we'll see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe so you hear for future episodes. Bye, Bye everybody.